How's it going everybody? Tom here with Keto Lifestyle and today we are going to do a cooking episode. In honor of the holiday season, we are going to make one of my favorite desserts before I started keto and this is a great keto adaptation of the same thing. So today we are going to be making keto cheesecake. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is set our oven to 300 degrees. We need to preheat this. Now that that's going, let's get to baking. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the crust. And the first ingredient for that is two tablespoons of coconut flour. So I got my coconut flour right here. And we're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons into this small bowl right here. About one. And two. Next we've got one quarter cup of almond flour. Good enough. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of erythritol. And then we are going to do one packet of this stevia extract. Alright, we're going to need two tablespoons of butter for this and it needs to be melted. So we'll go ahead and get our two tablespoons and toss it in the microwave for a few seconds in order to get it melted. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add that melted butter into the mix here. And then the last thing is going to be one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Once that's all in there, we're going to go ahead and just mix this up with a fork until it gets kind of crumbly. I'm going to go ahead and say that's good enough. Alright, now this is going to need to be pressed into your baking dish. We're using a 9x9 dish here, lined with foil. If you have one of those spring pans, that works better, but I don't have one, so you make do with what you can. So now that's in there, we're going to go ahead and just press this down like you know any other time you would have made cheesecake. So that's pressed in there. We're going to go ahead and just leave this as is and get going on the filling. A lot of cheesecakes you'll have to bake the crust ahead of time, in this case you do not. So once this is pressed in there, just leave it and we'll get going on the filling. So to start off the filling, we're going to start with 300 grams of softened cream cheese. I'm just going to go ahead and add it in the bowl and then soften it in the microwave. So to get 300 grams, we're going to come here. It ends up being close to two sticks. Alright, so here we have one package and this was a third pack that I left over from something else. So we'll go ahead and dump that in and see how close we get. Let me go ahead and scrape this off. We're about 288 grams. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to 300. And we're at, eh, it's a little much, 308. So we'll go ahead and cut that in half. And good enough, 297. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is 90 grams of sour cream. So I'm going to go ahead and tear out the scale and add in my 90 grams of sour cream. There's 35, 55, 76, 86, and just a touch more. Perfect, 91 grams. All right, so we're gonna need our erythritol again, and this time we're gonna put four tablespoons of it into the filling mix. We got one, two, three, and four. Then into that again, we're going to add two packets of stevia this time. Now we're going to need half of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then half a teaspoon of this vanilla extract. I like vanilla a little bit, so I think I'm going to do a, a half a teaspoon and then just, you know, maybe another quarter teaspoon. So just a touch more because I like to live dangerously. And the final thing going into the filling here is going to be two eggs. One. And two. So now we're going to go ahead and mix this right until it's smooth and creamy. All 
All right, now we're going to go ahead and pour this right on in on top of our crust. Had to grab a rubber scraper here. We're going to want to get all of this goodness out. Not going to waste any of this precious filling. All right, now we're going to have to pop this in the oven here. It's preheated to 300 degrees for about one hour. So let's get this in and get going. In one hour on this beeps, we'll have an awesome cheesecake to try. All right, my timer just went off, so it's time to pull this thing out of the oven. Doesn't that just look delicious? Now, unfortunately, I can't dig into it right now. I'm gonna have to let this thing cool and stick it in the fridge for a couple hours. But let's go ahead and put the macros for this on the screen right now. And I'll check back in with you guys as soon as this thing's cooled down and we can try it out. All right, so here is the finished product. This thing's been chilling in the fridge for about three hours, so it's nice and cooled down by now. And uh, let's go ahead and give it a quick little taste test. Now, as far as cheesecakes go, it tastes great, but it's not gonna be a perfect substitute for the cheesecake you get when you're not on keto. But in terms of keto desserts, this is awesome, and I have no problem with it. So with that, I'm going to close out this video. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so. So you'll be notified anytime another cooking video comes out. There's also going to be weekly videos with keto tips and uh, one weekly vlog coming out as well. So just go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I will talk to you guys later.